Amiodarone is a cardiovascular medication with many potential side effects. In this demonic video, we'll cover amiodarone side effects, so you'll be ready come test day. The Army commanders are out at sea celebrating the release of the newest Army drone. Unfortunately, a tropical storm rolled in and cut off the boat's power and communication. The boat is now lost at sea, and the Army leader's only hope is to send out the new Army drone as a cry for help. Use the Army drone to help you remember that this video is about amiodarone. Army drone for amiodarone? You can learn more about amiodarone's mechanism and clinical uses in the video dedicated to the class 3 antiarrhythmics. However, several side effects are only seen with amiodarone and not the other class 3 antiarrhythmics. That's what we're going to focus on in this video, amiodarone specific side effects. Let's get started. A commander is holding the drone controller, which is operated using a lever. Here at Pixarize, a lever is our symbol for the liver. We've even made the handle of the lever resemble the shape of a liver. Unfortunately, the storm has damaged the lever, causing the army drone to malfunction. Use the damaged lever to help you remember that amiodarone causes liver damage, also known as hepatotoxicity. During treatment, you will want to monitor the patient's liver function tests, specifically the labs AST and ALT. The wire on the controller is also damaged, and it is frayed and sparking. This frayed, damaged wire can help you remember that amiodarone causes neuropathy. Because a nerve is kind of like a wire, right? So a frayed wire should help you remember the nerve damage seen in neuropathy. Patients taking amiodarone may feel a numbness or tingling in their extremities, a sensation that's caused by damage to their nerves. To celebrate the Army drone launch, the Army commander dressed up in his uniform. He's even wearing a bow tie. Here at Pixarize, we use a bow tie to symbolize the thyroid. It's the thyroid tie, or the thyroid, if you will. What's more, the thyroid is located at the base of the neck and is shaped pretty similar to a bow tie. But oh no, the sparking wire from the controller electrocuted the Army commander and the surge of electricity damaged his bow tie. Because the bow tie is damaged, it is our symbol for hypothyroidism, a condition where the activity of the thyroid gland is abnormally low, leading to a low amount of thyroid hormone in the bloodstream. Another commander is extremely paranoid that this isn't just a storm, but an enemy attack. He found an old beat-up life vest, but is looking around frantically for a better one. To his surprise, the first drawer he opens is full of bow ties. You already know the bow tie is our symbol for the thyroid, and the way there are lots of bow ties in this drawer symbolizes how amiodarone can cause hyperthyroidism, meaning an overactive thyroid with too much thyroid hormone in the bloodstream. But wait, didn't we just say that amiodarone can cause hypothyroidism? As it turns out, amiodarone damages the thyroid, which can cause either hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism, depending on the patient. For this reason, it's important to monitor the patient's thyroid levels during treatment. Unable to find more life vests, the commander decides to make do with what he has. In his military experience, the commander learned how to be resourceful. Boats always have lots of rope, so he repaired the life vest using fibers from the rope. Breaking this down, the lung-shaped life vest represents the lungs, and the fibers repairing the life vest symbolize pulmonary fibrosis, a condition in which the fibrous scar tissue replaces the normal tissue of the lung, sort of like how the fibers here have repaired the scars on the life vest. Amiodarone has been shown to cause pulmonary fibrosis. For this reason, it's recommended that patients receive a baseline chest x-ray and pulmonary function test before starting treatment. Teach patients to immediately report any respiratory symptoms to their provider, such as shortness of breath, wheezing, or coughing. The next thing the Army commander does is put on some camouflage face paint. If this really is an enemy attack and not just a tropical storm, the commander wants to blend in. That's why he used blue-gray face paint to blend in with the stormy ocean. The blue-gray skin paint should help you remember that amiodarone can cause blue-gray skin discoloration. This side effect actually isn't very common, but it's pretty unique to amiodarone, so you may still see it come up on exams. There are army things all over the ship, including a skull with a military bandana, since skulls are common symbols in the military, right? At the celebration for the new drone, corn on the cob was served. When the lights went out due to the storm, the panicking commander stuck his corn in the first place he could find, which happened to be through the eyes of the skull. The way the corn is in the eye can help you remember that amiodarone can cause corneal deposits in the eye. 
These deposits may appear as cloudy or opaque areas on the cornea and can affect the patient's vision depending on their location and severity. The Army drone has a camera on it since it's normally used for surveillance, but because of the malfunctioning controller, the flash on the camera is randomly going off. Without power, it's really dark, and one of the commanders is sensitive to the bright light from the photos. The way he is sensitive to the photo can help you remember that amiodarone causes photosensitivity. Patients experiencing photosensitivity are extra sensitive to sunlight and are at higher risk of experiencing a sunburn. It's important to educate patients to wear sunscreen and protective clothing if outdoors for extended periods of time. The Army boat often docks at tropical islands, during which the crew stocks up on local fruits. But much to the dismay of the commanders, the crew keeps bringing sticky grapefruit juice near the expensive military equipment. To prevent this from happening, the commanders have taped a sign in the drone controller case. Just like the sign shows no grapefruit juice, patients taking amiodarone should avoid grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice interferes with how amiodarone is metabolized in the body. This can cause amiodarone to build up in the bloodstream, which can increase the risk of side effects. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Amiodarone is a medication that has a lot of side effects. It can cause liver damage and neuropathy. Amiodarone can affect the thyroid gland, causing either hypo or hyperthyroidism. Other effects include pulmonary fibrosis, blue-gray skin discoloration, corneal deposits, and photosensitivity. Patients taking amiodarone should avoid grapefruit juice as it increases the risk of experiencing these side effects. And now we're actually done with amiodarone side effects. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.